Welcome to Flower Expo TV, the heartbeat of the cannabis industry. I'm your host, Kayla, bringing you the latest industry news. Our lead story this week is a monumental move for the cannabis industry. A Senate committee has given its approval to the cannabis banking bill. This legislation aims to address the banking challenges faced by its operators, allowing them to access financial services and the potential to end Section 280. If the bill passes, it's certain to be a crucial step towards normalizing cannabis economically. Moving on to Boston, where legal troubles are brewing for downtown dispensaries. A lawsuit has been shaking things up, with operators disgruntled about the proposed oversaturation of retail licenses in the area. A recent study suggests that the legalization of cannabis doesn't necessarily lead to increased usage among young adults. Instead, it indicates that young adults are making responsible choices when it comes to cannabis consumption. These findings challenge some of the common assumptions about the impact of legalization. In Georgia, independent pharmacies are stepping into the spotlight as they prepare to distribute medical marijuana products. The Georgia Access to Medical Cannabis Commission has selected these pharmacies to provide cannabis oil to registered patients. This move aims to improve accessibility and convenience for patients suffering from qualifying medical conditions, marking a significant stride in Georgia's medical marijuana program. Turning our attention to the world of college athletics, an NCAA panel has formally recommended removing marijuana from the list of banned substances for college athletes. This change reflects a shift in the perception of cannabis and its legal status across the United States. While it's still under discussion, this recommendation could pave the way for more wellness-focused cannabis treatments for athletes. That wraps up today's Flower Expo TV. See you next time!